today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study His Word. And like always, we're going to be explaining another often confusing question. So I hope you've got a pen, a paper, and your Bible. And let's get started. What was the first sin? What was the first sin? The first sin must have uh, preceded Adam and Eve's choices to sin. Since the tempter in the garden was already evil before he talked to Eve. And there is no biblical evidence for any sin having uh, preceded Satan's. The occasion of Satan or Lucifer being cast out of heaven described in uh, Isaiah 14 verse 12. How the are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How thou cut down from the ground which did weaken the nations. It is important to know that Lucifer's sin preceded human sins. We know from Romans 5, 12, 21 that men and women throughout history, except, of course, Jesus, have been sinners as a result of Adam's sin. Since Lucifer's sin preceded that of Adam, and it also preceded that of the rest of humanity. Let's read uh, Romans 5, 12 to 21, and see what it tells us about this sin. The Bible says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, so death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. For until the law, sin was, was in the world. But sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is a figure of him that was to come. But notice the offense is so also the free gift. For if though the offense, through the offense of one, many be dead, many more, the grace of God, the gift of grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, has abounded unto many. And it, uh, and not as it was by one man that sinned, so is a free gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men to justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one, many shall be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounds, grace did much more abound. That is, sin has reigned unto death. Even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Furthermore, we understand that Lucifer's sin apparently preceded that of the rest of the angels who fell. And we assume that... uh, uh, they, they were they were corrupted into demons and in revelation chapter 12 verse, two, uh, verse 4 we read that the tail of the dragon who represents satan or lucifer swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them into the earth then in verse 9 we read that the devil or satan was hurled to the earth and his angels with him And this passage speaks of the fall of Satan, who took one third of the holy angels with him in his rebellion. Therefore, Lucifer's sin preceded both mankind and the other angels. Finally, the Bible does not tell us about any other creatures capable of sinning sinning against God. Angels and humans are the only beings who are morally responsible and therefore able to sin. It is 
reasonable to conclude that Lucifer's sin was indeed the first sin, as both human sin and angelic sin came after this fall. And there seemed to have been no sin prior to Lucifer. And that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you've learned something. And remember, you can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite our podcast and subscribe to our channel, Keith Mwoki, so that you can always be notified whenever we post a new Bible study question. And if you like to get saved or you need a step-by-step order of salvation, that is how to get saved, so that you can well preach to a friend or family, or maybe you feel led to support our ministry, please visit our website, keithmuoki.com. Otherwise, I hope to see you soon in the next one.